Hi everyone and welcome back to NotFlow. So this is the second video of the Bion series. So if you didn't watch the first one, please go check it out as it's very important to understand what's going on today. In the last video, we basically saw how to create one single biome and then we created a scattering based on attributes like temperature and precipitation amount. Today, it's a little bit more complex as we will create different biomes in different regions. And along the way, I will show you some techniques that you can use to create mass on a height field. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So in Houdini, you see, I will start with the same terrain that we had last time. And the first step is to create some masks. So I will create a height field mask by feature. And the first mask will basically isolate all the lower parts. So I will just remove the mask by slope, enable mask by height. And then by computing the range, I will just go into the negatives. So something like minus 10. And then I will lower this mask height until I found the areas where I want to scatter. So I think something like that works fine. Then I want to give it a name. So I want to create the height field copy layer. And if I plug it in, this node allows me to rename my mask to desert. I will also copy this name and put it here so it will be easier to reference it later and then we'll write desert mask nice i will also give it a color something like purple now i want to create my second mask so i will create another height field mask by feature i will connect it and this time i want to isolate only these top parts over here so again i will go into mask by height compute range i will slowly increase my minimum height until i have something like that once i'm happy i will also notice that basically this part is not exactly what i wanted to select i only wanted to select the middle one and there's a way that we can do that so i will now create a simple sphere i will make it very big something like 400 and then i will create a height field mask by geometry this node allows us to create a mask based on a geometry as the name says so if we go here you see i'm basically masking based on where the sphere is positioned i will then move the sphere a little bit so i can choose the area where i want to see the other mask and you see right now we are not able to see the mask that we had in this stage and that's because the mask by object is by default replacing that but if we select multiply you see we have a very nice result this will be our second mask so i will just duplicate my copy layer and this one will be called just boreal again i will just copy paste it here so we can keep everything tidy and i will give it a color something like green nice and now for our last mask i will basically use the same logic as the mask by object so i will duplicate all of this down and in this case we don't want to multiply we want just to replace i will make my sphere way smaller something like 80 maybe i want to affect only this area and you see the nice thing is that because this is the geometry we can always add mountain and in order to see the effect of the mountain we need to use very high values as this is a very big geometry so something like 300 and also 300 in the element size yeah i'm happy with it the only thing is that our sphere is very low poly so instead of using this kind of topology i will go here and change it to polygons now it's all triangulated and i can increase the topology over here i will just lower the amplitude a little bit so we won't have a very strong result i will also increase the scale to something like 100 right now i will not spend too much on this one as i have a whole series just talking about how making masks using height fields i want to give this one a name so we'll go here and this one will be my temperate mask so i'll write temporary copy it and then also replacing it down here. In this case, the color that I will choose for the template is just this blue. Now, these colors are important because when we create more complex setups, it's easier to understand what's going on. And now we need to define our biome. So I'll create a biome, define here. And you see, instead of defining our biome condition naturally, so we could go here and we have as the plan define this thing that we saw in the first video. But instead of doing that manually again, I can go here and I can select boreal forest, for instance. Now, the first one will technically be our desert. So going here, I will choose subtropical desert and then I will copy paste it here. So this this will be my desert biomes. And you see it already comes with some conditions over here about temperature and precipitation. You can always change them. Usually default are fine. And now this one will have a purple color. I will then duplicate it, connect them. And this will be my boreal biome. And the only thing I need to do is actually go here and change it to boreal forest. I would also like to make it green. And the last one, as you already guessed, is the temperate one. So I will change the name. And over here, I will choose my temperate forest. And I will give it a blue color. Beautiful. I will also add some nodes to make it everything easier to understand. So this is the biomes definition. I will make this one black. And the other one is our height field layers. So height field layers. Now to combine all of this together and to make it work, we need a node called biomes region assign. You see, we need two things. In the first input, we can plug our biome definitions. And in the second one, we can plug our height field layers. And if we visualize it, we will not see anything at all. And that's because this node has different ways that we can use to import regions. Right now, we want to use the height field layers that we created over here. But by default, it defaults to image. So ideally, you could import an image that you may in Photoshop with different colors and this node will be able to understand the biomes placement. But for now I will change it to multiple layers and then I will choose side field layers. Beautiful. So I could add all my layers here, desert mask, boreal mask and temperature mask. But for now I will just recreate the region list and that will just do everything for me. But we need to change a few things. So the first layer, that's the desert. We want it to be the desert one. The second one is the boreal and we want to change it to boreal forest. And the third one is our temperate and we want to choose our temperate forest. That is great. And if you still don't see anything at all, well, it's not 
your fault is that these nodes are sort of new and they can be pretty buggy so i found out that if i just delete it and i press ctrl z and bring it back in you can see i have something so if you want to check your layers you can go in guide geometry and you will be able to see all your layers they will be at the same height if you want to change the height for a visualization sake you can just set this one to something different so you have this sort of order this will not influence the mask at all it's just like a visual way to understand it better now something very important about this node you need always to change it back here to final height field layers this is crucial otherwise the next step will not work and the next node will give you an error so let's change it back to final height field layers and now we can assign this one to the terrain so i'll create a biome attributes to terrain in the first input we want to reference our terrain so just to make it a little bit tidier i will move this one here and i will just move this one here and then in the second one we will read our biome definitions and in the third one we will connect our biome region assign and if we now check we should now be able to see biomes if we go here and check biome color and you see here they are the only thing is also adding this color by default so we can always change it to white now the complex part is done basically we could already do a scatter but we need some plans so as we did in the first video i will create a plan defined here i will not set stuff manually as we did in the first video i can go here and change it to desert cactus copy this name paste it here and then the second one will be my desert prickly pear again i will just copy the name to make everything easier to follow i will then duplicate these nodes two times as these are basically the desert ones so i will make them purple let's connect everything together this one will be my boreal ones and this one will be my temperate ones so again let's connect everything together and let's assign the correct plans so for the boreal i want the boreal snow pine and for the second one i want this shrub so i will go here and i will select boreal shrub one and lastly for the temperate i want to choose my temperate pine and my temperate shrub awesome so let's send all of this one with just a simple node so i will just copy paste this one connect it here and these are not our biomes definition these are our plants definition we can finally create the biome plant scatter we can plug here our plant types our plant definitions and over here we can plug our terrain now if we wait a little we should be able to see all our plants spawning correctly so you see there are some slight color differences and that's because we have different kinds of plants you see you could change the visualization colors over here you see this is the brightest green these ones and this is basically the other kind of green so this works also here you have different kinds of plants and also in the desert ones and as we saw in the last video now if you just want to see the plants correctly we need to create an instance node connected and then we can create a height field convert to convert the height field to geometry and finally we can just merge everything together and that's it i've also removed the UV visualization and here we can see we have our desert plants on top we have our boreal plants and over here in a different area we have our temperate ones so of course this will be just an example then you will definitely try to play with proper biome placements but the idea is that with this system you will have a way to create a very very complex plant distribution and something else that we can do is you see this step was very repetitive so what if you don't want to do this every single time if you know that you will be using the same kind of plants the same kind of stuff we could write all of this to disk as one single file so i can use the plan definition and this node has two different modes the first one is to write so right now we would just want to write all of this to disk so i will just connect this one here and we can either write as a json or as a bgeo right now i will just use the bgeo and then i will call this one plan definitions 01 i will then save to disk and you see it says input node process and also if we hold middle mouse over here we see we have one point for each kind of plant we also have an attribute called dictionary technically these attributes it's just like a long list of details that we created for each single one of these and if you want to visualize it actually i have the json version opened right here as you can see it's basically just a list of the attributes where this plant specifically should be created and it just repeats everything for every single plant so why this is cool because now we can just unplug it and i will set it to read and now it's reading from the disk and i can just connect this one back in and again this will work the same right now but the useful thing is that you will be able to reference this in every single scene so now you have your file over here and you don't need to do all this step every single time there is an alternative also for the biomes so there is also biome definitions so i really encourage you to play with it it's the same thing but it works with biomes and i guess that's it for today so thank you for joining me today i really hope you learned something new if you did please consider subscribing and leaving a like it really helps me to understand what's going on and if you like this content so i can provide similar stuff if you have some suggestions questions please comment them down and i love to hear your opinion on this one so thank you so much for joining me and i will see you next time cheers